Well, hello, racing fans. Today we have a little game that involves racing. As you can see, my little car is going around this rectangular racetrack. And if I touch the walls, it stops moving. I have to repress my memories. No, just kidding. Repress spacebar and continue racing. In order to make this track, all you have to do is first make a background. Uh, we just do all one color and then make a gray track. Uh, make sure that your background and your track are two different colors. Next, you'll want to make a car. As you can see, I have other sprites. Don't worry about those. Um, just worry about what you have right now. Um, <clears throat> here, you have, um, so you want a starting point. So go to, that's where I click the flag and it goes to six, negative 64, point in direction 90, or whatever direction you want your car to be facing to race. You could go left, you could go right, whatever. Set size to 100%. Uh, my car is fairly small. So I didn't need to. Uh, I didn't need to make it smaller. That's the size of it. Um, then forever, you just need to have the if left arrow pressed, turn five degrees to counterclockwise, and if the right arrow or uh, D, if you prefer, you want clockwise at five degrees, and it works just fine. Then, when the space bar press, move three steps and repeat that until touching the background color. Whatever your background color is, you'll want that. That way it will stop instead of run over the background color. It's seriously that simple. That simple. So you have this one makes the car move, this one is the turns, and this right here is the starting point. Of course, there are several hacks you can do to make this all the more better. Oh, you could, one idea would be to curve these a little bit more, take add a little bit of a curve to it instead of it being so rectangular um, or angular, however you want to say that. Uh, <clears throat> you could draw some trees, some spectators. Uh, you could add multiple levels, uh, sound effects. Um, you could add a button that acts as a break. You could make it double or two player. Um, you could add, actually add a small patch of oil that uh, makes you skid or um, or spin or whatever and puts you out of commission for a bit. Um, what you'd want to do for that is add a loop that runs forever and checks to see if the car has touched that um, and whatever you want to do. You could duplicate the space key press code. So you have to go faster button. Um, maybe you have a button that makes it go you know, a little bit faster and you put a weight in there or whatever, instead of three, 10 or whatever. Um, you could add a second car, that sort of thing. You can also change the size of the car and uh, determine what you need to do from there. You could change the speed. Uh, it doesn't have to be three. Um, what if you change the background and add some trees or whatever? Make this your game. Um, don't do the minimum. Try and really take it to a new level. So that is the racing game. I call it race car or drive me crazy, whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, this could be, you could really make this fun. 